Hello and welcome back to RepVerb. On today's video we've got this Technics MIDI system that we're just going to do a quick test, check that everything's working okay on it. There is a bit of an issue with the turntable so we'll look at that and we'll give it a quick clean up service. So let's get to the video. So first off, we're just going to do a quick demo, just go through the controls and just see if everything's working okay and what needs looking at. So you can see from that quick test that on the whole everything works okay, there's no sort of issues. The main issue being this turntable, there's no power going to it, uh, nothing happens when you operate any of the buttons or move the arm like it should. So first thing we need to do is get inside and open it up and have a look and just see what's going on. So there's five screws that need to remove to get inside of this turntable. So with the, with the tape deck, with the aux input, um, all working okay, radio's working okay, can't get an FM signal because I haven't got an arrow connected to it but the AM's fine so there should be no issue of that. So they will just need service cleaning. So first of all let's just quickly check and see if we've got any power going into the unit. Just going to check to make sure there's no breaks in the wire which shows there isn't. So now I'm just going to quickly look at the transformer, make sure it doesn't look sort of burnt or anything on the board. Now I'm going to connect it to the power supply and make sure we've got power going up to the board. So the 240 volts, which is fine, there's no issue there. Um, and then we'll just see if there's any power coming out of the other side of the transformer, which there isn't. So obviously there's some sort of issue with this transformer. Now I did have a quick look to see whether I could find a replacement, but unfortunately at the moment I can't. I need to check the specs and see whether I can find something else which isn't the original part but maybe a replacement part of similar spec but for now I'll leave that and I'll come back to that on another video so now we're going to move on to the amplifier and we're going to give it a quick service so as you can see inside the amplifier it looks really good nice and clean there's not much dust if any at all to be honest so that's a good sign it looks like it's had well it's been in a place where it's had very little sort of dirt or dust in the area so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew the front panel so we can get access to the back of the potentiometers and we're just going to give them a clean with some deoxit. Um, as always in most of my videos that's always the first point, especially on a service, that's always what I'll do just to lubricate them and clean them up. So with this you need to pull the buttons off and then in behind the buttons are some nuts that hold it in place and then once those nuts are removed you can then undo the board at the back and the small board on this one is just clipped in so it takes a little bit of fiddling around getting it out but you can see that it's not too bad and once that's out you can then get into the potentiometers which will allow access to spray the deoxid in and then once you put that in there you can then work the knobs as usual and just make sure it goes in around and cleans it all Once that part's all done and the deoxid's been worked in, you can then place the board back in and just clip it in place. Now I'm just moving on to the volume control potentiometer. This one's easily accessible, so you don't need to actually remove anything to get into this one. So just spraying it inside as usual and just working the knob. I'm just using the cloth just to clean up any sort of excess. 
And now I'm going to refit the front panel back onto the main shell. Now there was an issue with this unit that I was noticing when I turned the power on that it would automatically start playing but then I realised that there's a timer switch on the front which I didn't notice so this was switched on which you can see here and that was causing every time you put the power on it would start playing so with that off it's now operating as it should so that was an issue that was pretty easy to rectify just a user error basically so now we can get the lid put back on so again, just the six screws to go back in, two on each side and two on the back. And now on to just giving it a clean like the other two, just wiping it all down, making sure I go over all the buttons and controls and everything like that and making sure that it's nice and clean. And now we can move on to just doing a quick demo of the unit all back together and working obviously less the turntable. As you can see it's all working as it should so just going back to the turntable obviously i can't find a part at the moment to replace that transformer but hopefully in the future i'll be able to find a part and then i'll do a video on sorting that out and replacing that and then i can demo that again thanks for taking the time to watch the video it's really appreciated please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one